since SteamOS is a, a Linux distribution, installing things will be a bit different if you're coming from Windows. In Linux, to install programs, uh, we use uh, what's called a package manager. A package manager is a tool you use to download, update, install, and remove software. Now, this is a graphical ap application that hooks into the package manager uh, and, le and lets you uh, do everything you'd need to do that way. But because uh, on Linux, it, everything is just a group of separate applications that all work together, uh, like you, you can switch out your desktop environment and do all sorts of stuff. So it's not a given that this will be how to do it. So the tutorial won't be how to use the graphical interface. It'll be how to use the package manager. But again, if you feel more comfortable, you can do everything in the interface. Just copy what I do in the terminal and you know translate it to clicking and pressing buttons in here. So we do sudo. Uh, sudo is a command to give admin privileges and then we'll do pacman now pacman is the package manager for arch linux and steam os will be based on arch so this will be its package manager we'll do a dash capital s uh, the s is for sync so it'll go to the server grab whatever program we ask, ask for in the next uh, part of the command and it will sync what's on the server to our local machine so if we for example type blender hit enter it'll look for dependencies and conflicting packages so you can see we're going to download 32 applications total Blender and then 31 other dependencies. So the dependencies are programs that Blender will need to run. If we hit Y, then hit enter, you can see it'll go download all of these packages and it will install them. So now if we uh, Go into our menu here, we go to graphics, uh, we can see blenders right there. And we can open it, and it works. You can also use the package manager to uninstall applications. So if we do a sudo, then pacman, again sudo for admin privileges, uh, pacman for, well pacman's the program we're using. We do dash uh, capital R. R is for remove, N is for no save. This will remove any system-wide config files for any of the uh, packages we're uninstalling, with the exception of anything in your home directory. It won't remove config files in the home directory. But in the root of the system, uh, it will. And then we do S for recursive. So if we type Blender, uh, R is to remove Blender, N is to no save any of the configs, and then S is recursive. So we uninstall Blender and any of its dependencies that aren't also needed by any other programs. So if we hit enter, type Y we've removed all 32 packages we just downloaded. The download files for those packages are still in your local uh, cache. Uh, like if you reinstall Blender right now, it wouldn't download, it would just reinstall. So to remove the local cache for those, you'll want sudo, again admin, pacman, you will want dash s, and c. And then now the cache is cleared.
Now, the package manager is also how you do system updates. So we'll do a sudo, again, admin, pacman, dash s for sync, y is to refresh things. I'm not sure exactly why it's y, but you know, that's how it is. And then u is to update. As you'll see, it'll check everything in the system, see if everything's up to date. It will look for dependencies for any packages that need updated, uh, look for conflicts, etc. You can see the package or the packages it will download if there's more than one that needs to update. Hit Y, hit enter, and then there we go. There's a system update. If we refresh over here, you can see that it's updated. Alright, now really useful command to know is uh, man. It's short for manual. This is how you can find out how to do stuff. So if we want the manual for the package manager, we can type man pacman. Hit enter. And it'll pull up the manual for it. This will tell you all the arguments for it and how it works. Uh, yeah. If man is an unrecognized command, uh, you can just download it. So pacman dash s uh, and then man uh, db. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to re-download it, but if it's not recognized, download it, and then you can use it. See you later.